Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we have seen few actuators like LED, 7 segment display and a stepper motor. In this video, let us understand relay, fizzo buzzer, push button switch and a keyboard. What is relay? Relay is an electromechanical device. Why it is called as electromechanical device means it is taking an electrical input and do some mechanical action which acts as a dynamic path selector for the signals and power. Means in the circuit, if we want to make the circuit open, we can use a relay and also we can make the circuit close. This relay works on the principle of electromagnetic principle. Means relay will be generally a coil. By energizing this coil with the external voltage, we can make the circuit close like this. So what happens when the external voltage is applied? When the external voltage is applied to a coil like this, obviously there will be a current flow in this circuit like this. Because of the current flow, there will be a magnetic field generated across the coil. Due to the magnetic field generated, it will attract this switch that will be called as an armature to come towards the coil. Means it will make the circuit to close by moving the armature towards the coil. And once the voltage is taken off, it will be come back to the normal position and switch will be open. So we can use it with the microcontroller in a embedded system. In this circuit, we are trying to make this motor to turn on using a relay. This relay will be controlled by the port pin output from the microcontroller. Remember, if you want to connect any external devices like this, we need to use the ports of the microcontroller. So let us take this port pin output as 1 or 0. In between the circuit, we will be having a transistor here. So through the transistor, this relay will be turned on. Why? Because this relay will be connected to a plus 12 volts and another end should be connected to ground. In between there will be a transistor. When this transistor is turned on, there will be a path to the another end of the relay to reach to the ground. So this transistor should be on, then relay will be on. So let us consider the port pin output of the microcontroller is set to 1. Means microcontroller output is 1. When it is logic 1, transistor is getting required VBE that is voltage to turn on and transistor will be on we say. Because of the transistor is on and the external voltage 12 volts is given to the relay, there will be an amount of current flow in this direction. Because of the current flow, there will be a magnetic field generated. Because of the magnetic field generated, this relay is going to make this circuit close by attracting this armature towards the coil. Due to this closed circuit, motor will be turned on. We say motor is keep on rotating because of the AC voltage. So what happens when the input of the port will be zero? Microcontroller output is zero means transistor will be in the off state. Because of the transistor off state, relay will be off. Relay will be off in the sense relay will come back to the normal position. It is an open circuit. So motor will be off. This is how we can use a relay to make the circuit close or to make the circuit open. This is an animation explaining working of the relay. You can see when the coil is energized with the battery, it is making the circuit close by attracting this towards the coil. And when it is open, this is also open and light will be off. The other way of understanding is that through a coil, when the current flow in this direction, there will be a magnetic field generated. That magnetic field is attracting this armature towards this and it is making a contact. Then Fizzo buzzer. Fizzo buzzer is a device which is producing a audio output in a embedded system. We are going to use this fizzo buzzer to make some sound. This will be having a fizzo electric diaphragm. This fizzo electric diaphragm which produces the audible sound. There are two cases here. One is the self-driving buzzer. Another one is external driving in the buzzer. What is self-driving means? It contains all the necessary components to generate a sound but it will generate a sound at a predefined sound. Predefined sound in the sense, only one sound we can expect from the buzzer once we connect this to a microcontroller. And what happens in the external driving? We are going to expect a different kind of tones when we are going to apply a variable pulse strain of input from the microcontroller. This is the physical structure of the buzzer and the components are shown here. And this is the microcontroller arrangement where the FISO buzzer is connected. Here also we have connected this buzzer with a transistor. To turn on the transistor, we need to provide the port pin with the value 1. When the port pin is 1, transistor will be on. This is making the circuit full. So the other end will be connected to ground through the transistor. 
when transistor is on buzzer will be on when transistor is off buzzer will be off when actually the transistor is on means when microcontroller port will be having one it will be getting the necessary voltage vbe when it is zero vbe will be zero transistor is off next one is a push button switch this push button switch will be used as a input device we can use this push button to give some input to the microcontroller and push button is used to generating a monitory pulse push button switch comes with a two configurations let us understand one is push to make another one is push to break in the push to make configuration switch is normally in the open state switch is generally open once we are going to push it it is making a circuit contact and the switch is closed we can say push to break in the sense generally the switch is at the closed state once we are going to press it it will be making the circuit contact open or break the circuit connection we can say and here you can observe there are two circuits a two small circuits let us consider here is the microcontroller and we are passing some value to the microcontroller by using this push button this push button is used over here this is vcc this is ground what happens when the switch is closed this microcontroller port input pin will be connected to ground and we are passing zero value right from the ground suppose if we are going to use the same push button switch over here to the vcc so this vcc is connected to, to the microcontroller and we are passing one this will be called as high pulse generator and this will be called as low pulse generator next we will be having a microcontroller where the push button is connected as an input device so we are passing some value such as one value to the microcontroller when the push button is closed so here is this circuit making the led to turn on or turn off the scenario is that when the button is on the led will be off okay when the button is off when the button is not pressed led is going to be on means what when this push button is closed here is when the button is pressed what happens the port pin will be giving the value zero this port pin output of the microcontroller will be zero because of this zero led will be off when it is closed when it is open when it is released we are providing the microcontroller output as one and led will be on this is the physical structure of the push button switch there will be a spring here to get the release once it is pressed and here is the four points it will be making the contact or it is breaking the contact this is the practical example of the push button it is connected with a controller once it is pressed there will be a light glow you can observe here and it is released the light will be off next we will be having a keyboard this keyboard is an input device again we can give some input from the keyboard pro controller or microprocessor this keyboard is going to be used in place of a push button if a single or limited number of keys is required to give an input we can use a push button switch itself the series arrangement of push buttons making a matrix arrangement and this will be called as a matrix keyboard here there are 16 push buttons connected together in the form of a matrix and this will be an input device called as keyboard here for example interfacing 16 keys a direct interfacing technique requires 16 port pins in a microcontroller correct but here only four column and four rows are required to interface 16 keys that is what the advantage of this keyboard this is the interface of that keyboard this will be having four rows and four columns you can observe these four rows are connected to a port 1 that is the output port of the microcontroller and four columns are connected to a input port that is port 2 of the microcontroller these vertical lines are connected to vcc you can observe since it is connected to vcc what is the value we are having in d3 d2 d1 d0 obviously it is logic 1 since it is connected to a positive supply and these d0 d1 d2 d3 are also connected to vcc and we can expect 1 1 1 1 from here also but since it is an output port we can control the values over here and microcontroller will be having zero values at the output of this initially all the values at the rows will be zero once all the values at the rows are zeros and the columns are ones it is indicating that there is no key is pressed there are keys here you can observe 
starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to F, there are 16 keys. When the key is open, we say column will be having 1, 1, 1, 1 and rows will be having 0, 0, 0, 0 value. Let us understand the working of this once the key is pressed. Here is the steps to understand when the forecast 4 matrix keyboard key is pressed. Initially, rows are configured to a output port with row logic 0 and columns are configured to the input port and the value is 1. So we will be having all rows with the value 0 and all columns with the value 1. So we say there is no key is pressed. If one of the column bit is reading 0, I said all the columns should be uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 here. Suppose any one of the column will be reading 0, it means there will be a key pressed. How to detect this using a microcontroller? Let us take this example. In this case, let us see switch 6 is pressed. Switch 6 is pressed, there will be a uh, column here, there will be a row here. When there is, when there is this switch is closed, we say there will be a contact established over here from this row to column. Because of the uh, push button switch is pressed, there is a contact established. How to identify this by the microcontroller? Once any key is pressed, we say the output of the columns will be other than 1111. If it is 1111, there is no key is pressed. If some of the value will be changed to 0, it means some key is pressed. When some key is pressed, microcontroller is start to detect that. How it is going to detect? It will make the output of the port 1 to 0, 1, 1, 1 first. It is making R0, R11, R21 and R3 is 1. Once it is making this value, it indicates, let us pass the value 0 from R0. Means this line will be 0. Suppose, let us consider this key, this 3 key is pressed. What happens? It is connected to VCC. Because of this 0 providing from the microcontroller, this vertical line, the column C0 will be taking this microcontroller value 0. Means the column is reading it as 0, 1, 1, 1 now. Right? So to change the column output to 0, we are passing this 0. If this match with the column output, then we say this key is pressed. Now in our case, this key is not pressed. Even if we pass 0, it will not affect the column values column values are 1, 1, 1, 1 itself, right? Even if the key number 6 is pressed, in our case, because of 1 we are providing from this row line, this row will be having 1, it is available at the output. So we can't detect this. So we need to go for the next case. In the next case, what happens? The microcontroller is changing its value from 0, 1, 1, 1 to 1, 0, 1, 1, the second case. Now it is changing to 1, 0, 1, 1. So key number 6 is pressed, correct? So key number 6 is pressed means it is making the connection over here. So this 0 is passed in this row and column value becomes 0 in this case. You can observe column value change to 0. Why? Because this line is connected to 0 from the microcontroller. So come, microcontroller will come to know that column value is 1, 0, 1, 1. And also the row value is 1011. So 1011 in the sense it is the sixth key. Here also we will be having 1011. When row and column value is going to be match, that will be the key pressed. Suppose this is not the key pressed. If something like C is pressed, again it will be go to the next state 1101 and the output will be 1111. It is not uh, detected. Suppose C is pressed means what happens? When this becomes 0, this condition becomes 0. So it will be indicating that are the button C is pressed. This is how microcontroller is going to detect which key is pressed. This is the scanning procedure what I have explained. If you want, you can go through this and understand. This is the practical scenario. If you are going to press the keys and if you want to display the value which key is pressed, we can use a microcontroller ports like this and we can display the values. Thank you.